Okay, uh, so it's your tease. It is. Hang on. I'm one and three. For what? No, I'm two and four. Yes, you're two and four. Two. You're actually putting numbers on. I am. <laughs> okay. So I promise no stupid beer stories that are ridiculously icky. Can you say outtake? No. <laughs> Take out all of the beer stories that are really icky. Oh, that's not what I was thinking about, but go ahead. Hmm. So anyway, thank you for liking, subscribing, and following This Is Truly News. If you can convince other people to do that, you're a wizard. Harry Potter has nothing on you. Like, subscribe, follow. Have your friends do that, too, and we'll be forever grateful, which amounts to absolutely, you know, nothing. Well, monetarily. Our, for you. Yeah, right. But something in your soul will feel good. I promise. No. Nope. Even your soul will feel dead and glazed. Just type I believe in the comments section. Preach it. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. Actual interviews. I got asked, don't turn, but what is the color of the wall behind you? I answered, and he asked how I knew. So I said, I saw it on the way in. And he angrily muttered, you're supposed to say all four are the same. And then didn't ask another question for five minutes. Then he said, we'll be in touch. I was interviewing for a kindergarten teacher position. And instead of saying, I tweak instruction to fit my students. I said, I twerk for my students. Oh, that's a guffaw. Still got the job. <laughs> Sorry. I can't wait to hear Horrible. how that. No, uh, I don't want to. Cough no. switch sounds. Uh -uh. During the interview, I was asked, what do you think is your greatest weakness? Me, kryptonite. Interviewer didn't even crack a smile, stared at me for about five seconds, then immediately ended the interview. Do you think you're funny? So I, so I took my shirt off. My cape came billowing out. I flew away, and boy, was he left with an ugly look on his face. I took vacation days. Wait, hang on. What? Is that really necessary? Did it work? Yeah, I think so. Did you hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, how, what's my cough button then? I'll let you know. I took vacation days to interview, bought my own plane ticket, and paid for my own hotel. First thing the interviewer said was, I have no intention of hiring you. This is just a courtesy because I know your brother. I'm thinking of a word. Mm -hmm. The second part of this word involves digging. Uh huh. And what is left after you dig some in the ground. Yeah. The first is a donkey. <laughs> you go ahead, put that together however you like. And finally, the Wait, interviewer. Hang on, hang on. What, what, what? Is that better? Have you got the Rona again? I have run out of buttons to push, man. I'm trying to be good. Well, your cough switch is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I don't have one. Well, why does it sound like it sounds then? Why? The interviewer proceeded to berate me for not having a 4.0 grade point average, saying clearly I needed to study more and I was obviously out partying too much and not learning anything. My GPA was 3.6. Wow. Back to you. Wow. I'm trying to remember what my GPA is. I'm trying to remember what GPA is. If I looked up at a three point, I was looking up at 3.6. I'm trying to remember. Well, Look, I don't know. I believe I was looking up at 3.0. I, I think. Um, I think I could still play football if I wanted to. <laughs> if you if I could get yeah. on the team. As Rich Gilson used. A mini excavator to remove part of the. You read that one. Wow. What, you didn't type the little number by the story? I did. I just didn't delete the little story after I did it. <laughs> okay. In Tokyo, penguins at the Hakona N Aquarium. Oh, shoot. I was hoping it was Hakona and Matata. That'd be Hakuna. What kind of savage are you? 
The penguins there are turning their beaks up at a new variety of fish after officials switched because of price increases. So they don't like the fish sticks. Yes, this passes as news in UPI, but, you know, with the rampant inflation, what the hey. Yeah, exactly. The cost of their standard fare, Aji, increased more than 30% over last year, so the aquarium tried a cheaper variety of mackerel. And let's be honest, I didn't actually know their... There were varieties of mackerel. Did you? If this is substandard mackerel, we'll have none of it. How how would I know? But the penguins aren't biting. (laughs) It's it's a mackerel substitute. (laughs) According to the head zookeeper, Hiroko Shimamoto, even if they'll take it in their beaks, they just spit it out. Oh. Now, if the keepers do mix a bit of Aji in with the cheap stuff, they'll eat it, but without enthusiasm. You know, it's kind of like when you're dating and your girlfriend makes you dinner. Yeah. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although my girlfriends could all cook, so I guess it's not like that at all. The zoo otters have the same impression of the new, <laughs> the zoo's otters have the same impression of the new menu item. Shimamoto said they could raise admission prices, but we'd like to do our best to keep our facility a comfortable place for our guests to visit. So we'll starve our animals. So we'll annoy the inmates. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Heck of Makes an idea. so much sense. Well, let's get to something a little more benign than starving creatures. That was number zoo. four, son. Oh, star- oh, was that number four? Oh, yeah. How could that have been number four? Because I did two stories. Did you? Yeah. And I started with actual interviews. Yeah. And I didn't do my second story. You must have. Couldn't have. Yeah. No. No. Then why am I? What was your very first story? Interviews. And I, I did the, you, you teased, so I did the very first story. Yeah. And then you read a story, and then I read a story, but I didn't read a story. How did we miss out on your second story? Are you sure we missed out on your second story? I'm pretty Anyone sure. Anyone listening to this must know that we are rocket scientists. <laughs> You know Let, what? Let's I know why, one. because I labeled the story from last time. <laughs> oh, <sighs> flathead beacon. You know, if they ever make a TV show called Stupider Things, <laughs> we are right there, dude. We are. We, one twenty six a.m. Someone reported hearing glass break and alarms going off at the mall. But officers at the scene could find no signs of a problem. I'll give you a problem. <laughs> 6 25 a.m. Two gentlemen were camping in a nearby parking lot. What? <laughs> that's that's news. 8 13 a.m. It's first, silly, but news. First, mail kept going missing. Then mailbox disappeared. <laughs> Run. This is the Langoliers out in real life. Wow. You know, the, the story Langoliers. Of the Langoliers. You remember that one? Vaguely. Stephen King. Vaguely. Uh, these were, people were caught between beti- Google it. Real time and the end of time where the yep. Langoliers come and eat all of the people. Everything. Thanks. Everything. The whole universe disappears behind us, apparently. 8 16 a.m. Someone was filming a TV series. And why that would have happened last week before we did this? Really? Exactly. <laughs> 9 18 a.m. A car in the middle of the street. Was stuck in park. Stuck in the middle of street and park with you. No. Mm-hmm. no, Jerry Rafferty wouldn't make the hit with that. Thanks. Neither will we. No. And that was the last story, you goober. No, that was the third story. I have a fourth one. Oh. <laughs> Stay with me, Einstein. God almighty. <laughs> it will never end. <laughs> You know, if you told us way back when that we are going to be the dumbest thing on the internet, we'd have said, what's the internet? Anyway. (laughs) Story four. Go ahead, Tom. Story four. Take 17. If this is another one of those eight story episodes, I'm coming up there. Thanks to the quick reaction of mathematicians everywhere. (laughs) Scott and Tony have been canceled. Thanks to the quick reaction of a semi-truck operator, a teenage driver sustained only minor injuries. 
after she allowed her car to drift into an oncoming lane of a suburban Minneapolis street and crash into the trailer. Oh, my. How do you allow your... Okay, so, right? The semi-truck has to be going this way. Mm -hmm. And you have to be going this way. You miss the cab. But, but you're obviously not driving a, low, driving a low enough profile vehicle to like slide under it. Right. Wow. Mm -hmm. According to the smoking gun, they're my favorite. I love them people. Oh, God, yes. Uh, during questioning after the mid-July incident, the girl denied being on her phone at the time of the crash. But in Oka you County can ask Sheriff, the person I was talking to. Oh, wait for it. Oh, no. Anoka County Sheriff's deputies noticed that her car's Bluetooth system was still streaming the audio to Stranger Things on Netflix. Seriously. She then admitted to actually watching the popular series. Oh, for driving. Pete's sake. Come on, it fits, all right? You drift into the back end of a... You yeah. drift into the south end of a northbound truck. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Stranger Things somehow fits. She, um, she got lucky. Oh... That she could actually defend herself is a good thing because a few more seconds earlier of stupid and they'd be holding services. Exactly. Idiot. Maybe they should be anyway. May no, we don't do that here. I know. I know. I know. We do in Canada and several other places in the world, which we just despise, but that's okay. <laughs> this is true. Really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.